So I am a huge fan of truck driving simulators. ETS2, I've played well over 100 hours. Alaskan Road Truckers, SnowRunner, like there's a bunch of different truck-related simulator games, and I absolutely love them. Heavy Cargo, the truck simulator, is a truck sim that I played a little while back. I believe it was a demo of some sort. And the other day, I received an email from Aerosoft with a key to play the game. So a massive thank you to Aerosoft for the key to play. And what we're going to do in this video is go through if I believe it's worth playing Heavy Cargo, the truck simulator or not. So the concept of this game, very, very good. I enjoy it a lot because it's not just a cargo hauling simulator. You are doing heavy cargo. And I mean, you're going to have to do full blown winds, turbines and everything like that. But unfortunately with this one, it's going to be a full release on Steam. I'm not entirely sure how much it costs at the moment because I got to play early. And I've managed to write down quite a big list of things that I found to be a problem within the game. That doesn't necessarily make it a bad game, doesn't make it broken, doesn't make it a mess, or any of my usual shenanigans, <laughs> the things that I typically say for games. But I will point these out because I absolutely love truck driving sims. And if this stuff can get fixed, this is definitely a game worth playing. So starting off, when you fast travel to your headquarters and exit your vehicle, it can, uh, well, every single time for me, it's probably going to be on a case-by-case -case basis, but it does cause quite a long lockup of the entire game. You would, like, some people would think their game's crashed. And then another thing is that the flag decoration, because you get decorations for the inside of your dashboard and everything like that, the flag decoration is just one giant glitch. That thing does not sit still at all. I put it on and saw it spinning around as I was driving, so very quickly took it back off my truck because it got frustrating. And then this is quite a biggie, seeing as it's named the truck simulator. This is not a full-blown simulator at all. There are no traffic offences, probably because there's no money in the game whatsoever, but that means you can drive around in your van, you can smash up everything, just bump into traffic for the sake of it, and there's going to be no penalty for it at all. But when you're in your truck it does mess up your job rating so at least there's that when it comes to traffic offenses but again that doesn't matter because there is no money in the game as i've mentioned and you are still going to unlock all rewards for that mission like regardless of the job completion star rating because each job in this game you were given a star rating up to three stars and it doesn't matter if you're like really long on the job it doesn't matter if you go through red lights if you're speeding if you're damaging the load it doesn't matter on your star rating in, you're still going to get all the rewards so there is absolutely no penalty for any traffic offenses and again there is no money in this game at all and then another thing is i was using controller instead of keyboard and mouse and the wipers the windscreen wipers do not work properly they just they don't let you turn them off no matter what you press even going into your like extra commands it doesn't work you can complicate all the key bindings and change things around and get them to work but when I set them to down on my D-pads, you have to set the slow version as well in order to be able to turn them off. There's no, like if you've just got your basic setting for your windscreen wipers and you want them at full speed because it's heavily raining, then there's no way to turn them off. And not only that, the key binding actually broke and wouldn't let me turn them back on either. So the windscreen wipers are a little bit broken. And this game is called Heavy Cargo, but you are going to start the game doing your typical delivery jobs and you're locked out of the super heavy cargo until you've completed five smaller jobs. And you do eventually get more super heavy cargo jobs. Like you'll start off with three, but after you've done two of them, you'll unlock more. And I think that's every single one of them. I believe there are 13 in total in the entire game. And I think when it comes to your normal, typical sort of cargo, your smaller cargo, I think there are 15 jobs. So this game isn't entirely based around heavy cargo as the title of the game suggests. It's just a cargo hauling game. And another thing that I found with the game is there is no camera reset button, at least from what I found. So you have to manually move your camera back into position and then you have to wait ages for it to go back into its actual central position and for that to happen automatically so that was a little bit irritating especially when you're driving at high speeds and another thing that stops this game being a simulator there is no fueling system in the game trucks are always going to have plenty of fuel in them even though there are gas stations in the game so there's gas stations but they're unusable there is no fuel in the game and there is also no disconnecting and connecting trailers like you do in Alaskan road truckers these trailers trailers are automatically connected even for the smaller jobs the moment you load into the job and the reason I pointed that out as a little bit of an issue is because you can get 
out of your truck and you can run around so i think it would have been nice to add to the simulator experience and actually get you hooking up trailers and stuff even if it was just simple little mechanics and then another small one very very minor one is the only way to know how far you've got left on a job is to have the gps turned on for the hud so if you want that off to just see the truck and the city to make it more immersive and stuff then you're going to have absolutely no idea how long you've got left on that job when you do turn the gps stuff on it'll say like 4.3 kilometers until the finish line and then one that was actually quite a big letdown there is no way to change the color of your truck they talk about customization being a part of the game and there is quite a lot of it but there is no way to just simply paint your truck a certain color that you want there are two liveries that i found in the game and there's no way to change any of it so say you get certain parts of your truck unlocked through completing jobs you're going to have an orange and white man and then changing certain parts they're going to turn blue so your truck's going to look a mess you can't change the colors of any of it that you want and i think that's a shame i think the customization should definitely feature paint jobs for your trucks or at least have way more than two liveries available and for your main truck for the jobs that you are going to do with the heavy cargo and stuff there is one single man truck that you drive throughout the entire game and i feel there could have been a few more maybe some for the lighter loads for the smaller jobs and then some for the heavier cargo that you're going to be hauling along there is just one truck in this whole game for all of your main jobs and not only that when it comes to the super heavy cargo i am not the biggest fan of the preparation you have to do before the job you basically have to drive the route before you can actually go and do the super heavy cargo and you have to do road preparations like removing guardrails before you can actually take on the heavy loads and it gets quite tedious very very quick i wouldn't mind doing all of that stuff whilst i'm on the job but having to do the preps before you take the job on it's okay it's, it's enjoyable at first but after you've done it for a couple of heavy cargo jobs all of that enjoyment is gone and it just feels like a, a tedious mechanic that doesn't necessarily have to be in the game and i realize we've spoken a lot about the negatives within this game but there are positives as well the driving in this game is really enjoyable i like the different cameras they've got they've got orbit they've got in your dashboard they've got like basically as though you've got a gopro stuck to the front of your truck and i like how big these cargos get like full-blown wind turbines are crazy to drive along the streets the vehicles i feel the handling is really good on them it doesn't feel too tight or too loose i mean unless you're going at 140 kilometers an hour in the van you get to drive from job to job that thing spins out like crazy and overall i think they have a good foundation for a truck simulator but where it currently stands it doesn't feel anything like a simulator if it feels as though they put together a truck driving game there's nothing simulator to it and they've got simulator in the title of the game and not just that the fact that they've got more normal cargo jobs than what they've got heavy cargo and the game is supposed to be about the heavy cargo so when it comes to answering that question is it worth playing i'm gonna say yes because i enjoyed the driving around and stuff and it was cool listening to the music as you're taking on these massive jobs but i'm gonna say grab this one on a sale because while it is good fun and there is enjoyment i don't normally like doing this but you might as well grab euro truck simulator 2 and grab the dlc for it for the heavy cargo because you're going to have a much better time on that game than what you are on this some of it's tedious there's a lack of customization even though it's a big talking point for them so i think yes if you like truck driving if you want to take a break from games like ets2 snow runner alaskan road truck and so on and so forth this is worth grabbing but i'm gonna say i don't even know the price but i'm gonna say not a full price i'm gonna say grab this one on the sale wait a little bit see if they come out with updates to add features and improvements it's a full release but there is always the chance they do things like that we just don't currently know at this moment so yes i'm going to say it's worth playing but not necessarily straight away it's not one to even focus on going out and grabbing day one this is one that i would definitely sit back keep an eye on its updates and everything like that and possibly make a purchase in the future and again a massive thank you to aerosoft for the key to play the game early and what we are going to do is leave that video there let me know your thoughts and stuff about heavy cargo the truck simulator in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching